Hi everyone, in this uh, tutorial we're going to take a look at how to use the Moodle database uh, tool. Databases are actually very powerful because you can really store anything in it and so can kids. So for example if you're looking for a place where you can upload um, uh, pictures for anyone to use or if you want to just keep a record of um, uh, the one example that's come up recently of running, um, a database would be a good way to do that. You can find databases underneath uh, activities, so I go add an activity and you'll see in the default Moodle install uh, database will be there. And so when I click on that, it's going to give me my familiar uh, install uh, setup form. And so I'll go ahead and just enter the, um, base, the typical types of information. So this is a database about stuff and these is this database and I'm going to uh, scroll down and as with most of these uh, objects you have some choice in terms of what um, what some of the options are for most part you can just leave these um, blank um, if you're using um, uh, student databases where students uh, post information you may want to require approval so that they put the information but until you say go it doesn't sh show up anywhere. Uh, maximum entries you can allow uh, a limit on how much uh, any one person can post um, but I'm going to just leave most of these uh, completely normal or completely common and I'm just going to go and uh, save and display. At this point I get the database main screen and right now there is nothing set up in this database. Um, as students you do see much less than, uh, than teachers would on this one. But I'm just going to go ahead and um, um, just start adding fields. So let's say for example that this was just a file database, maybe a place where I want to upload uh, uh, pictures um, for a school field trip or something like that. So maybe I might uh, create a new field and the first one might be um, maybe the picture itself. And so it asked me to uh, put some default information here. So um, field name, I'll just call it picture. Um, And most of the rest of this I can just leave and um, I'll just go maximum file size will be the system default which currently is 200 megabytes. So I'll add that field. And then I'm going to actually add another field. So I'll go back to um, the main screen and I'll click on create a new, uh, create a new field. Um, the field I would like to create is now maybe a description, so maybe a uh, text area, which is the one that has the uh, edit field in it. And my field name might be description. And please. All right, so I'll just go ahead and add that. So now you can see that my database has two fields. Uh, maybe one more that might be a date that I want to uh, place into this. So create a new field, and I'll add a date, and the field name will be called date. And maybe I might go date picture was taken. I'll add that. So now you can see I've got some uh, default fields and uh, now I need to actually start to uh, set up some templates which are the ways that people visiting this site will see this data. And by default there are templates automatically created. So I'm just going to click on templates and you can see that I've got a single template, an advanced search template, an add template, an RSS template, a CSS template, and if you want to get into, uh, into fancy things, there's even a JavaScript template. The ones that matter to me, though, are the list template, the single template, and the add template. The list template would be your typical screen where you can see all of them together. 
the single template is when you're looking at one record at a time, and the add template is where we actually add information, so the fields uh, as they're placed in. So let's go to the add template first. Under the add template, you can see it has created a, um, a default setting, so it's going to ask me for the picture, it's going to ask me for the description, it's going to ask me for the date, and I can just go ahead and keep that, or I can reformat if I want to. Um, might make sense to maybe add just a little bit more information above, so um, please include... There you go, so I've added, uh, please include your picture, a brief description, and the date it was taken. Um, date, I might even edit this to say date taken. And I'll just go down to the bottom here now, and I'll save that template. Now I would like to change how um, people see it, so I might go single template. And this is the screen as it would normally uh, show up, and you can see I've got the picture, description, date, as well as an edit, delete, and approve button at the bottom which works fine for me. Um, I'll go to the list template and um, you can see that uh, right now it's just going to list the whole thing as per normal which is actually not what I'd like to see because obviously if you've got pictures in that you're going to have a lot of information on the screen at once. Instead what I might do is actually um, erase all of this and I might just start from scratch. So I'm going to say, okay, what do I want to have on that main screen as I'm browsing through? Well, I definitely need my uh, main fields. So I might put up top um, a header, which is just a, um, what's going to happen at the top of the screen. And I might make that a table. And I'll make it with uh, one row, two columns, um, and I'll just leave all the rest default and my row and columns will be just a header that says description and date. Then my repeated entry um, I'm going to go down here and I will also set a table which will also have one row and two columns also be 100% and I'll go ahead and press OK so it matches what's up top and for my description I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna click on the icon that says description. I'm also going to click on the icon over here that says date. Um, if I wanted to I could also um, add additional fields to this um, for example I could um, um, put uh, maybe below this as a um, an extra field I might say buy and I might click on user which is the person that wrote it and I might also put um, a quick icon for being able to edit and or for more which will take you to the individual record um, and uh, that's it. Uh, that's all I'm going to use. So now what I'm going to do is um, go to the bottom and hit Save Template, and we can see what this is going to look like. So to see what this looks like, now what I need to do is to actually see this through the eyes of a student. So what I'll do is I'll go back to the main screen. I'll switch my role to student. I'll go back to my database about stuff and you can see that really I only have one, two, three, four fields. View list, which there isn't anything to view. View single, search, or add entry. I'm going to drop into add entry and you can see that now I'm given a field so I want to choose my picture. So I'll go choose file and it takes me to my uh, hard drive so I might have uh, maybe in my documents I might have some uh, pictures in here so I'll just go and uh, grab one there's uh, uh, my avatar there so let's go open and I'll put a description of um, my avatar um, 
date taken? Maybe it was taken on the 21st of March 2011. Um, I don't know if it was or not. And I can just go save and add another. And so it'll go ahead and upload that picture as well as all of the information that I've associated with it. And because I chose add another, it's going to take me back to the screen where I can now go choose file again. I can find a different picture, maybe my uh, uh, Moodle avatar. Um, and that was taken more recently, and I'll just go save and view. Okay, this time you can see that I've got to my main screen. So here's my um, Moodle avatar, and it's sitting there blinking away. Um, you can see that there's also a preview, so if I click on one, it will uh, take me back to the uh, Second Life avatar that I've also got on this uh, system. Also with um, my description as well below it. But now what I want to do is to actually look um, at these records all together. So I'm just going to go to View List. And when I go View List, you'll see that, just like I've requested, it's going to have description, date, so there's my description and my date as well as uh, who it's by and that continues on and because I left the actual um, picture out of that template uh, I don't see it. Um, I haven't edited the search template but it, by default it should have pretty much all I would need um, so maybe I want to look for anything that's got the term um, uh, Moodle in it, which I know I've got one that has the Moodle avatar. Um, I can just go save settings and it'll take me and just show me the one that I have that has Moodle avatar, which because I push the more button, I can click on the more icon and it'll take me right to the uh, right to the page. And I still have an edit and delete button on here as well. As always, let me know if you have any questions about these.